Hello, this short tutorial is designed Hello, to introduce librarians to use an Excel spreadsheet for library value calculations. In many libraries each year, librarians have a difficult time explaining what the library does and how much value is returned to the community through library services. This short tutorial is designed to assist librarians with the computations necessary to provide worthwhile return on investment information to the community. The American Library Association, as well as several other groups, have developed library value calculators. The basic premise will be used in our tutorial. Each one of these values used will come from the American Library Association Library Value Calculator. As you can see in these images of two calculators, the information used is fairly extensive, but will be useful for our calculations. This tutorial will discuss simple formulas used to create the value calculations and using a graph to present the results. Use of these formulas and the creation of a formula that is designed to express the value of services through both the time and distance value calculation method. Libraries will be able to use this data to create simple formulas and to develop a simple chart. On this Excel spreadsheet, the basic information has been laid out similarly to the way it is presented in the American Library Association format. In this sheet, we have replicated the formula used in the ALA calculator. In the cell, we have entered the formula starting with the equal sign, then the cell reference, and finally a multiplier, which has been given by using the ALA site previously. For the first cell, the ALA value of a hardcover book is $17 per rental. Throughout this spreadsheet, we have used all the ALA numbers to create generic value information. The red arrow shows the specific function we have used for this example. Now we're going to show what this looks like on the screen. As you can see, we've already input the information and we've come up with a subtotal. There is also library distance calculators, which you can see are up in the formula bar. Those are related directly to the number of visitors that came into the library. Now that we have all this information, we want to make this into a pie chart. So what we're doing is we're selecting everything that's here on the screen between B2 and C2 and B21 and C21. And then going up to the top ribbon and selecting insert. Then if you look, there are charts and for us, we're going to use the 3D pie chart. Now that we have the pie chart here and it auto populates, we don't really want to use the chart on the same screen on the same page as spreadsheet data. So we're going to cut it and place it on a separate spreadsheet in the same book. We're going to right click select cut create a new sheet which is chart right click again select paste there are different options for the formatting first we're going to use the destination theme now as that has been placed what we are going to widen the chart by selecting the bottom and just making it wider. As you can see, each one of these individual series is linked to the data screen. As I select one or two of the objects in the legend, 
the ribbon auto-populates with different options at the top of the screen. As you select one of those slices of the pie, it will show the related information from the reference point that it refers to in the previous spreadsheet. So the adult books and the value on it on the chart, the children's books, and all the remaining items are shown through linked data. Now we have a chart title that we want to change to library value. So we'll select the chart title and we'll highlight that and we'll change that to library value. Now there are items in the legend that we don't need. We can delete by right clicking and deleting them. This chart can be cut and pasted to a separate sheet. In this Excel tutorial, you should have been able to use Excel for library value calculations use simple formulas, and create a pie chart.